Hey Critters, check out these fantasy recommendations. All you have to do is pick up a book, because when you know how to read, adventures come to you. Many Critical Role fans are wrapping up the excellent The Nine Eyes of Lucian, the new Critical Role novel by Madeline Rue. If you're a critter trying to figure out what to read next, the character sheet is here with a curated list of fantasy book recommendations that share some of the same themes, elements, or just vibes as Critical Role. Number 1. The Brimstone Angels Set in the Forgotten Realms, the Brimstone Angels series features tiefling twins Havilar and Farida. When Farida winds up in a warlock pack with a champion, the duo become monster hunters who all too often seem to get caught up in political troubles and intrigue that often involves the Nine Hells. This is a true Dungeons & Dragons novel series, one that celebrates the cosmology of the Forgotten Realms and Dungeons & Dragons but doesn't really require any deep knowledge of the lore of that game. Plus, Farida is a great conflicted heroine who is a great encapsulation of the all too complicated relationship warlocks have with their patrons. Number 2. The Broken Earth Hey, if you love evil moons, might I offer you a sentient earth that literally wants to kill its inhabitants. The Broken Earth by N.K. Jemisin is a trilogy of novels set on a planet beset by disasters called The Fifth Season. The first novel establishes the strange world through three separate storylines, while separate novels build on the, both the mystery and bring the series to a fitting and inciting conclusion. This is a series that involves people who can move Earth almost kind of like earthbenders, but you know, with magnets, I don't know. It's hard to explain, just read the darn books. So, the Broken Earth trilogy is one of the best fantasy books of the last decade and mixes magic, science, and great characters together in an awesome way. But hey, don't listen to my recommendation on it. It's won just about every award that you can win. Number three, Legends and Lattes. If you are looking for a book that follows an adventurer after they save the world, Legends and Lattes is for you. Are you looking for a book that follows an adventurer after they've saved the world? Legends and Lattes is the tale of Viv, an orc barbarian that uses her hard-earned treasure to open a coffee shop in the world of Thune. This is a rare slice-of-life fantasy novel, one where readers can enjoy the fantastic day-to-day -day interactions and the downtime instead of all the danger and intrigue and deep lore. If your obsession in Critical Role is the little things that the characters do, instead of the big fights or the big legends or all the big stuff, Legends and Lattes will be entirely your jam. Before we continue, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can feed the unknowable entity that is YouTube's algorithm. Doing so not only helps the channel, it's the easiest way to make sure that you never miss a tabletop and fantasy update. So Christian has shown you a lot of recent works that give off big critical role vibes, so I'll try and dive into some vintage cuts for the second half of this list, starting with number four, the original Dragonlance trilogy. Maybe no book series will feel more like Critical Role than the classic Dragonlance trilogy, because it was literally based off of a home game of D&D being played by the authors and their friends and family, so it feels very much like a novelization of an actual play. You have a large group of heroes, each thrown together for various reasons, forced to forge relationships with each other in the face of an overwhelming threat, nearly all of them hiding some kind of secret. Sound familiar? It even has twins, just like season one of Critical Role, although the relationship between Vex and Vax is a lot less complicated than that of Raislin and Carmen. So if you love all the key elements that make Critical Role great, this series is a must read. Joe Manganiello called it the Star Wars of fantasy novels. And if you replace Palpatine with a giant five-headed evil dragon god, he's pretty much dead on. Next at number five, we have the Farseer trilogy. For all the Percy and Briarwood fans out there from Season 1 or the Legends of Vox Machina show on Prime. A tortured protagonist dealing with the loss of his family. Check. That same protagonist learning dark secrets to aid in his goal of revenge. Check. A newly found family and group of friends trying to turn him away from his revenge to save his soul in the face of deep political intrigue. Also check. Fitz Chivalry, the main character of the series, is one of the all-time great fantasy characters 
an unwanted illegitimate child of a noble, forced to survive by becoming the apprentice to the spymaster and head assassin of the realm as he tries to avoid being killed by the family that never wanted him in the first place. So if you love a protagonist willing to endure almost anything to achieve his goals the way Percy was, this could be an excellent choice for you. And finally at number 6, Critical Role is often about pure fun and chaos, just as much as big emotional gut punches, and if you want that all in one package that happens to be currently free with Kindle Unlimited, check out the He Who Fights With Monsters series. Maybe no book series captures the humor and big swings between combat and comedy, tragedy and triumph that you see in Critical Role, as well as He Who Fights With Monsters which is about a young man transported to a fantasy world where he is instantly forced to fight for his life and try and make friends and form an adventuring party, all while dropping references and jokes that no one in this new world understands whatsoever. Uh, it's also a power progression fantasy, so he levels similar to how the Critical Role cast levels their characters, unlocking new powers and increasing his abilities along the way, all while trying to face down a series of big bads intent on ending his existence. The main character, Jason Asano, is delightful and funny, but also capable of some really serious choices, and it's a great read that captures a lot of that critical role madness, and it's free for most of you, so definitely worth your time. There are a ton of great fantasy books we didn't name, like the Stormlight Archive or the Wheel of Time, but we just wanted to stick with six books we felt would appeal to most of the critters out there. So let us know how you think we did in the comments, and please feel free to toss us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.